These are exciting times for believers in Christ who are interested in Bible prophecy. Oddly, many believers are ignoring prophecy, even ridiculing those of us who think it's relevant to current events. Since prophecy accounts for 30% of the Bible, it ought to be a regular focus in our teaching. Additionally, we like to reserve a few minutes on Sunday morning to suggest news or trends that we see out in the world that seem to be predicted by the many yet to be fulfilled Bible prophecies. We are careful to use recognized, reliable sources for our news. It helps not to be accused of sensationalism. And we're not saying that the things we report are the fulfillment of prophecy, only that they are things you'd expect when you take the Bible literally. There's a fantastic prophecy that during the Great Tribulation, a person called the False Prophet will construct an image of the world leader known as the Beast, the Antichrist, that will seemingly or actually come to life. It reads like this. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, and the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. It sounds a great deal like artificial intelligence, AI. Thus, you'd expect current events to be trending towards AI. Newstrust.org posted a crazy story titled, Web Summit Conference Hears Plans by Danish Architecture Firm Big and Chinese Tech Company Terminus to Build an AI-Run City in China. Here's some excerpts from it. This is real. I can't make this stuff up. From robots delivering coffee to office chairs rearranging themselves after a meeting, a smart city project in China aims to put artificial intelligence in charge its creators told a conference this week. The project, named Cloud Valley, plans to use sensors and Wi-Fi connected devices to gather data on everything from weather and pollution to people's needs and eating habits to automatically meet their uh, desires. It's almost coming back to this idea of living in a village where when you show up, even though it's the first time you're here, the bartender knows your favorite drink, said big founding partner Bjork Ingels. When our environment becomes sensing and sentient, we can really open up that kind of seamlessness because the AI can recognize people coming. So it can open the door so they don't have to look for their key cards. Cities around the world are racing to embrace technology in a bold bid to improve urban life by collecting data to address problems like traffic jams and crime. Riverdale is high on that list. <laughs> More than 500 smart cities are being built across China. 500, according to the government, to spur growth amidst a global economic turndown. Launched in April, the Cloud Valley Project envisions a city of about 13 million square feet, equal to about 200 football fields, where technology allows people to live more comfortably by anticipating their needs. As sunlight hits the houses, bedroom windows adjust their opacity uh, to allow the natural light to wake sleepy residents, Terminus said on its website, which also highlights tranquil uh, green spaces like rooftop gardens. Once the light has filled the room, an AI virtual housekeeper named Titan, or Thanos, <laughs> selects your breakfast and matches your outfit with the weather and presents your full day schedule. The city, which includes offices, homes, and public spaces, and self-driving cars that move around under the ever-watchful eye of AI, is due for completion in about three years. A sentient city. Uh, Remember there was that Star Trek episode where they were trying to figure out if Data was a robot or if he was a sentient being, had he achieved consciousness. They're talking about Terminator stuff here and they don't even know it, it's fantastic. <laughs> Hundreds of these cities around the world, what could go wrong? Now, I don't know what's gonna happen with all this. I'm simply pointing out that AI like this was predicted over 2,000 years ago by John in the Revelation when he said there will be some kind of sentient image that will be able to kill people. Uh, again, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, then too, we're seeing the world's leaders calling for the Great Reset, a move towards a global economy and eventually a global government, also predicted by John. Then too, we're seeing technology that allows us to conduct all our business using some sort of 
personal identification on our hand or forehead, also predicted by John. I, I, I read this quote this week, the future of America depends on one thing, the gospel of Jesus Christ and a humble nation to receive it, to repent of sin and live lives that love and honor God. Now we believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is an imminent event. It could happen at any moment and nothing needs to happen before the Lord comes for us. Uh, Jesus returns in the clouds. He raises the dead in Christ. Our bodies are changed and transformed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Together, we're all caught up to be with the Lord in heaven. At some point after that, the great tribulation takes place on earth. It ends, and then we have the second coming of the Lord. So that's our hope. That's what we're looking for. How much of this stuff we're going to see, I don't know. Uh, I have been telling you, and it's true, that COVID-19 is pushing this agenda, rushing us into this digital world where all of your life will be uh, controlled. Um, just remember, our hope is in the coming of the Lord. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming.